was always, I don't know, getting sinus colds a lot. And then it would go down to my chest and then end up being bronchitis. And <laughs> that was no fun and I just knew that something, you know, I'd take medicine get over it, but then it seemed like every month I could almost time it. You know, I'd be getting sick again. And that time it just hit me hard. Carrie was very critically ill. She had been in the hospital a couple of times with severe shortness of breath, um, respiratory distress, and actually respiratory failure. She has a lot of different illnesses going on, and I think it was tough for her to keep up with everything she needed to do. We did a, what we call a TCM follow-up, which is just a phone call after the hospital to make sure that she's got everything she needed after the hospital follow-up. and. Um, Noticed that she was having some trouble with her medications, wasn't quite sure who she could call for some questions, just needed a little extra boost in her medical care. So we called Jana Emick, who was our care navigator, and she really helped us out with that. Some patients don't know some of the services available uh, and they need those services. This is a great way of finding out and getting the help they need. She helps us out a lot. Um, we send her a task or a note and she gets all the appropriate referrals lined up for us. Long term, those services kind of help, help patients stay healthier, help keep them out of the hospital, help them manage some of their chronic illnesses. I think the ongoing support for Carrie was very important. And just recently there was a, an issue that came up that proved that. And in middle March, I happened to call her on a late Friday afternoon. And she says she was doing really well. She'd been out doing a lot of errands that day, but she noticed that her feet were swollen. Yeah, my feet swelled way up and so did my hands. and. And I noticed on the scale too, one time I'd lock, gained like four pounds overnight. And I thought, whoa, and I thought something's not right. And I knew that she would be in trouble if something didn't take place over the weekend before Monday. She did have a diuretic, which um, helps take fluid off. And, but she was out of that and didn't have an order for that or a prescription. So I was able to reach Dr. Pyman who also knew how important it is to catch symptoms early for Carrie, and he was able to secure a prescription for the Lasix at, to get started then on Friday night versus going waiting until Monday. I fear she would have been in the emergency room or in deep trouble by Monday. So they got me on some medicine to get the swelling to go down, and that felt a lot better. I mean, it was hard to even walk around with the, they were so swollen. It's a team approach, and this is an example of how the team approach works. She now knows that she can manage her health. She has the confidence to manage her health, and I think she's doing really well. You know, when she has little bumps in the road, she knows who to call, where to go, and, and can sometimes avoid a major situation where she'd wind up in the hospital or a lot sicker. I'm glad they were there for me, because I don't think I'd be as good as I am now if they weren't there to help. And my granddaughter says, Grandma, I'd like you to see my kids. And that just broke my heart up. Oh, yes, I do too.